Üdvözlöm a kedves nézőket! A közös tér mai adásában egy kicsit kitekintünk Ferencvárosból, és bemutatjuk a hollandai karnevál hangulatát. Itt Dembosban vagyunk éppen, a vasútállomáson, ahol, amit a képen is látszik, nem tudunk lejutni egyelőre a város egyik központi terére, ahol éppen a karnevál hercege beszél, mert akkora a tömeg. Valószínűleg ez azért is van, mert ennyire jó az idő, de azért megpróbálkozunk lejutni és közelebb kerülni az eseményekhez. Sikerült lejutnunk a vasútállomásról ide Dembos központi terére, azaz most jelenleg nem Dembosnak, hanem Utudonknak, vagyis a Békák városának hívják ezt a várost a hollandok a karnevál ideje alatt. A háttérben már látszik, hogy elindult a karneváli menet, gyorsan üldözőbe veszik őket, hogy megnézhessük, hogy idén is mennyire kreatívak voltak a hollandok, milyen vicces jelmezeket terveztek. Dutch people celebrate Carnival mostly in the south part of the country, where the Catholic dominance used to be strong. We asked some celebrating people about the role of Carnival in their life. It's a traditional festival in uh, the Bosch for uh, almost uh, 140 years. That's why everybody is coming back every year from all over Holland. You said that the tradition started one, 140 years ago. How was it a carnival 140 years ago and how is it now? I, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> okay, then how was it 20 years ago? It was almost the same like new, uh, now. The city is uh, very traditional, and the start is it is a Catholic fe uh, festival. And why do you have so many frogs on your coat and on your head? Because this is uh, swamps. swamps, swamps, and in the in the swamps are a lot of frogs. So and this was this was a city in the swamps, so that's why. The frog is the Utel, and they call the city now Uteldonk. That's why. <laughs> what do you expect from today? What, what is your goal? What would you like to reach today? Uh, just celebrate. Just here to undergo the, 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 the surroundings. We go to the uh, market okay. and over there and you can, yeah, you can hear the music and then you can drink a little bit and go everywhere. And what's uh, what, uh, nice is, is you have the very young and the very old. Normally it goes by, uh, yeah, from from a baby till your grand grandfather or mother. I mean, it is family, and yeah, everybody's coming. Yeah. That's what we call in uh, Uteldonk, quick, quick. Everybody's talking to each other. People you don't know, you can uh, make everywhere friends. <laughs> that's the, that's the nicest thing of carnival here. And no drunken people. No, no one is drunk. <laughs> when I was born, I celebrate uh, Carnival. What do you celebrate on Carnival? I mean, what what, what is here to celebrate? And, and and just like that, we we call that a kill, you know. And then my mother takes me here on the street, and we are looking to other people. But officially, it's a religious party. It's 40 days before Eastern. And from Carnival to Eastern, uh, uh, on Wednesday after the Carnival, you know, the Muslims, they have uh, Ramadan. It's a kind of Ramadan for the Christians, for the Christian people. But that's officially Carnival. And why are you wearing a red, yellow and white uh, scarf? Uh, red, yellow and white are the colors of Uteldung. That's what Seto Gumbos is called with Carnival. Which is the Carnival that you remember mostly? Which was, was your favorite in your life? Every year, there's not a favorite one. Every year, it's, it's just uh, fantastic. It's a great party. What's going to be your program today? Um, now we're taking a, a look at the, at the Optocht, to all the people who are walking by. And then we're going to the cafe and have a lot of, uh, no, not a lot of, a few colas. 
En dan we going home. Just like you, eh? Café Bar Duc. We will meet there. Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, we haven't visited Café Bar de Luc, but we revealed the story of the so-called keel, which is a traditional dark blue coat. Many people wear the keel during carnival in the streets of Den Bosch. In former years, in the 19th century, uh, the bishop of the Bosch uh, ordered that carnival is not allowed anymore. Uh, that is uh, decadent uh, and so on, uh, drinking and, and fee. Uh, and, and, uh, no, that's not good. And then they started a new club and they say we make the world just around, yeah? it's on the backside. Yeah? And the boeren, the farmers, uh, the normal farmers are the boss. Yeah? Everybody is the same, everybody is a farmer, is a boer. Yeah? And a boer wears in that time a keel, a blue keel, this thing, to work on the, on, 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 on the field. Yeah? And so everybody is the same. There's not one is big enough, not uh, an older one, uh, not a poor one, not a rich one. Everybody the same. Everybody the same clothes. Every year the the Oeteldonkse club, every year a new emblem. Yeah? And that's also uh, like tens of years. Uh, the oldest one I have is from 1972. This one, 1988. Uh, a lot of them here on the backside also. But uh, why is that? Yeah, every year a new uh, motto, new uh, uh, crate, new uh, uh, what is this year to do? This year is it uh, how we are waving through the air. Yeah? How many times do you wash your keel? Never, never, uh, never. Of, it, must, it must be very dirty, but there's more in the water a few times and then hanging up. But not a wash metal, uh, wash powder and so on. That, no, 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 no. During Carnival, Dan Bosch really turns upside down. People are celebrating on the streets, in pubs, and also in cultural institutes of the city. When it became dark, we could make a short interview with one of the leaders of theater on the parade, who told us the difference between Carnival in Rio de Janeiro and Den Bosch. In Den Bosch we have a lot of uh, traditions and Rio is just having fun, looking the best, looking a bit sexy with a glitter dresses and something like that. And Utterdonk is all about tradition. So I call the prince, I call the new mayor. Uh, and there's a lot of protocol in Utterdonk and that in, in, in Rio it's just having fun in the sun and drinking a beer and this is more yeah, uh, some rules are there, more protocol. Could you tell me like uh, from the beginning till the end, like the frame, how does a carnival look like? Which are these protocols that you are uh, talking about? The carnival is um, uh, actually from uh, the Sunday, the Monday and the Tuesday. But everybody um, uh, invented a lot of parties around it. Today the prince officially arrived in his place Uteldonk today. Tomorrow we have uh, uh, a big show of a lot of cars going through the uh, going to the city, city and then uh, they can win prizes and it will also be here in the theater and then uh, Tuesday that's the last day then we have uh, uh, also a, um, uh, a lot of cars around uh, the place and that's just for the kids. Since when are you keeping carnival in Denbosch? Well, I think it dates back a few hundred years. I think the, the dark ages, I think. <laughs> Do you know uh, what was the difference between a carnival in like a couple hundred years ago and, and now? Well, of course, more sophisticated, but a lot of tradition also exists right now. But more sophisticated, the beer is somewhat uh, less cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people average participate uh, at the carnival uh, this year? Well, uh, it's very busy this year in Den Bosch. I don't know why, maybe because the weather is very fine. But I think we have uh, 50 to 100,000 people extra in this city right now, just for the carnival.
The special atmosphere on the streets during Carnival is always provided by Dutch amateur and professional orchestras, which travel to play in the celebrating cities and villages in the south of the Netherlands. We come from Bakel in uh, Holland, which is a village in the south of Holland. And um, we have about 30 members in our band and uh, we play all kinds of different music. Um, now we're, we're doing carnival in Den Bosch. This year we're wearing a red costume, which is um, supposed to be a, a phoenix, like a bird. And every year we have a different costume. So last year we had um, like an Indian costume with feathers. How much are you preparing uh, for, for the carnival? How much did you prepare this year? We're constantly preparing. We, we um, practice once a week on Friday and, um, and then we, um, yeah, we have performances all year round. Um, the most with carnival, then we um, go by bus to different, different cities. Is it the first time that you are in, uh, in Den Bosch? Every year you're visiting another city? Or? Uh, yeah, every year we visit somewhere different. Um, for me, it's the first time I'm in Den Bosch with Carnival, but they have been in Den Bosch before um, for Carnival, so uh, this is not the first time for most people. Um, yeah, it's really nice atmosphere, really enjoyable to be here. Carnival season is over for this year, but the people in Den Bosch are already preparing for the next festival in 2015.